The jokes go on and on about rabbits and their ability to breed, but what happens when you have two rabbits and they aren't too keen on mating? Well, we actually had this problem at our homestead when we first got our rabbits, and we did so much research about it at that point. And thinking back, it was such a struggle. It was so hard to find content around it and different strategies that others tried. So I'm gonna be sharing a bunch of tips and tricks that we learned during our researching and share what actually worked for us in the end so that you can try these and hopefully you don't have issues as well. I'm Danielle of the Splitaro Farm and welcome to our channel where we bring you new content every week on starting a homestead and living a more self-sustainable lifestyle. Over the past couple of weeks, we've been doing a bunch of content on rabbits, raising them and adding them to your homestead. So if you haven't seen any of those videos, I'll make sure to link the playlist down below and you're definitely going to want to check that out after this video so that you are equipped with all the knowledge that you need to know. But today we're talking about what happens if your rabbits don't want to mate. Now, this is definitely a close story to us when we first got our two breeding sets. So we have our does over here and our bucks on this side of the room. They were not doing such a great job at mating. We found it really difficult at first. And honestly, it's so embarrassing when you tell anyone or you just think to yourself, I can't make rabbits breed because there are just so many jokes about it. And that was so, it was weird. We did a bunch of different research. We tried a bunch of different things. And today I'm gonna lay it out all on the table for you so that you can get all of these tips tips and tricks. Let's talk about some tips and tricks for general breeding. You want to wait until your rabbits are six months of age before you do start to breed them. Does, you can wait until they are five months, but we here wait until everyone is just six months. When you are going into the breeding process, you're going to want to bring the doe into the buck's cage. And this is because does can be very territorial of their space. And you're going to notice that they might get a little snippety or moody, um, growl, thump their foot if they are having the opposite. So usually we're going to suggest that the female will go into the male's cage. And when you do go into there, you want to remove any bowls or cups or toys so that there is enough room there and kind of like knocking things around. You'll notice when you do put the female into the male's cage, they're usually going to kind of jump around, inspect the cage a little bit, sniff a little bit, kind of learn where this new environment that they're in, and then they'll just get onto it. But what happens if they don't get onto it? There are usually a few different causes that your rabbits might not be into breeding. The first off, we already kind of reviewed, but they aren't old enough or mature enough to be breeding. So you definitely want to wait until that five to six months before you do breed your rabbits. Another reason is the doe might not be in heat. Now, does are self-ovulators, so you don't have to wait until a certain time of year before they do go into or out of heat, but it can be dependent on a lot of different things. So when we get into the next section, we're going to talk about different ways to kind of get them in heat and help them with their self-ovulation and a lot of the things you can really control. So we will get into that in just a bit, so stay tuned. Another reason can be that the doe is territorial. So even if you are putting her into the male's cage, sometimes they can get really territorial of their space. They might thumb or make weird noises. And if you do kind of sense that the doe is really unhappy being in that cage, then I would remove her as soon as you can. They can snip, they can bite off different parts. So you really don't want that to happen. You don't want anyone to get hurt and you don't want anyone to you don't want anything to be detrimental here, so just remove them from the situation and try a different time. And then the next reason that they might not be into it is the male is just not feeling it. One, he doesn't think that the female is in heat and she might not be, she might be. And so if you kind of just position her so that he can sniff those parts and feel good about it, then he'll know she's in heat. Okay, let's go. Or we've also noticed that if a uh, male is either too slim or too chunky, they're just not the right weight, then they might not be able to mate. So they might either be malnutritioned and not have that energy to actually mate, or they might be too chunky and also not have the amount of energy. So you want to make sure if they are too large of rabbits and they're not being able to mate that you do maybe give them a bigger cage, you give them some more hay and some more room to kind of hop around and lose that weight. 
Now for the fun part, what can you do to help get your rabbits in the mood and get them into heat, get them into breeding? There are a few different things to try and we're gonna go through a bunch of them. When we were going through the process, we tried a lot of these and some of them were successful. We'll go over what was successful for us in this journey. Now, first off, the easiest one is going to be provide extra lighting. Does are self ovulators, so they'll go into heat when they think it's spring. So if you're able to provide longer spans of light, anything like 12 to 14 hour time periods of light. So you can either do that artificially by turning on the lights, opening windows, giving them some natural light, but then also supplementing some additional hours, especially in the winter when it's really cold and dark, they're not going to get that additional light and they might not ovulate because they think it's winter and they're kind of just going into that dormant phase. Another easy thing that you can try is change up the times of day when you're breeding. If you're trying to breed in the morning every day, then flip-flop and try at night. Try in the morning, then try at night, then try the next morning, or flip-flop that, kind of see if different times of day are gonna help with getting them in the mood. Another thing that you can try, two actual things that you can help induce heat is going to be things that you can feed the dough. So one is going to be adding about a capful or one Tea tablespoon to a gallon of water and you can bring this in whenever you're watering your does and this is going to help get them in the mood. Another thing you can try is adding black oil sunflower seeds. We actually do this in the winter already with some oats and we do a little mixture for them. So I definitely add this and it will help get them in the mood as well. So those are two ways that you can actually give them food that's going to help them get in the mood. And we actually give our does and bucks this diet throughout the entire year. It's going to be healthy for them. So don't worry about that. You just want to make sure that you aren't feeding your rabbits too much black oil sunflower seeds because they are high in fat and it could cause them to get overweight. So just do a little bit, like a little tiny pinch of sunflower seeds whenever you're feeding them. Another thing that you can try is usually we suggest bringing the female to the male's cage, but you can actually try the opposite. So you can bring the male to the female's cage. You will want to make sure that you are keeping a close eye on this because women can get territorial of their space. You just want to make sure that there isn't biting or anger that's happening because of this. When we tried this out with ours, we watched, nothing really happened. It was the same situation for us, but I've heard that other people have had success with this. Now, another thing you can do to kind of change up the space is you can actually change the cages of the male and females. So what we did was we put the female into the male's cage, the males into the female cage, and we left them there overnight. And this way they can actually sniff each other's cage out, they can get each other's scent. And then we brought the female into the male's cage the next morning. And this did actually help with our, with our one set of breeding pairs. And this got them kind of in the mood. It let them understand who the other person was and get a better understanding of their space. So that's something that you can try. Another thing that we tried that was really successful at our farm was we usually have our rabbits in a cage setting, but we were actually able to put them into a smaller room and do more of a colony setting. And we put two does and one buck in a colony setting and we left them there for a couple of days and both of them were definitely pregnant after the gestation period of 31 days and they both did have offspring after that so that was definitely really successful for us if you don't have the ability to do a colony setting we've also done we put our rabbits into our chicken tractor or if you have a rabbit tractor or just like a dog pen that you can put outside maybe for an hour or two let them jump in there on the grass and the lawn that's a really great thing as well what it's gonna do here is just kind of one, get the rabbits excited because they're in a new area, they can jump around, they have freedom, they can nibble on fresh grass and it really took away the pressure and got them excited. And that was definitely something successful for us, just giving them something a little bit different than they usually have. Now, the last method that I've heard and I have not tried, but if you are having struggles with breeding, I've definitely heard a lot of people recommend this method, and that is to take the cage of your rabbit or take a dog crate, cat crate, drop it in your car, put the dough in your car, go for a little bit of a drive, have some bumps in there, and supposedly bring the rabbits back 
and try to breed and it's really successful for a lot of people. Now, rabbit breeding should be easy. Most of the time it is, but if you're having trouble with your rabbits breeding, I hope that this video was helpful. We've tried a lot of these tips and tricks and we have a lot of other videos on rabbits that you're definitely gonna wanna check out. So I'll put them up on the screen and we hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe so that you can become a part of our journey. Bye.